And it, oh, I thought it would have been pretty bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would have been. Mm. All right. Fuck, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna go back a little bit to the beginning of where he, um... The whole thing, basically. Yeah, to where he, uh, starts explaining it all. Oh... This shit's got me fucking pissed, dude. Dude, this shit's got me... <laughs> oh my god, I have heated. At this point, I'm gonna start doing some digging on him. And you know what kind of digging I can do. Yeah, man. This is this is now turned over to my realm of fucking shit. Um, all right, and so now it's being turned over to mine. So and technically, what happened here is we were covering. Um, we're only fifteen and a half minutes in, but we did about like an hour and a half of like on your end, yeah, on my end of stuff. Um, in two different videos, and we abruptly stopped the last video to start this one on Dev's channel. Um, to raise a little bit of awareness of how the last video ended, so there's this girl that Tipster's been going at and attacking um, for the past week or so. He comes back, returns to commentary after being canceled for what he did, and he brings up the situation. So we were reacting to everything, and about 15 and a half minutes in, Tipster starts explaining how this girl got the nickname goth mom right now you will hear throughout this like other people start calling calling her goth mom but i hashtagged goth mom in his chat and i'm being gaslit <laughs> as the one who had officially pretty much named her that by using that hashtag and that's when she confirmed the name so not the others but he cl he cuts the clip right at that point and explains that see because another person had brought it up now i am also the one who hosted a live on june 2nd posted a youtube video and it's on twitch still where this other person who's being attacked was live with um, another uh, Discord member. Uh, we were all talking about it and everything, and this other Discord member was talking about it. And then the pet name thing got brought up by one of the two other people in there. And um, this is how the pet name was created, right? Apparently, because of that hashtag... My name's been put into this now, and he's known for the past month now very well since a month ago when I told him that he was my inspiration to start commentary, right? So he's known for the past month that I've done reviews of stuff and that I've done reactions to his thing from a week ago. I have been ghastly into the situation as the person who... Persian? <laughs> as the person... As the person who um, uh, created the name Goth Mommy. Uh, so we'll start it from the beginning of when he starts this clip and how his explanation goes. She got that name from someone in my chat. I have a clip from my stream where she was on. She had face cam on. Her and her husband were on my stream. And she had the face cam on. And someone in my chat gave her that name because when she had the face cam on, she had done her makeup like goth style. And so someone in my chat called her goth mommy and she liked it. She liked it so much that as you'll see in this clip, she decided to rebrand all her social media as goth mommy. Let's roll the clip. The fact that chat is calling me goth mommy is really making, like I'm living for that right now. Right, let's go. I mean, the chat was going wild for her earlier. She's the goth mommy. I am the goth mommy. I'm going to change my name on Twitter to goth mommy. Goth mommy. Let's go. I love it. Just like... 
<clears throat> Dude, they are loving the goth mommy. That's your new name from now on. It's goth mommy. Yeah. yeah. Hey, goth mommy. She's about yeah. to. She about to rebrand everywhere, just everywhere. She's goth mommy. Dead ass, dude. Like, well, my thing was already mommy with a question mark on a lot of shit. So mm -hmm. it's either mama or mommy. So I like goth mommy. That's goth mommy. Oh, we we know you love goth mommy. Yes, hashtag goth mommy. I like I like Corey. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a name. I, I didn't give her this name. This is a name she got from someone in my chat. She. Well, yeah. It's such a coincidence. He cuts it right after she speaks my name, and after the what? hashtag thing. Such a that got to be a coincidence, right? Very. <laughs> she did her makeup up to look kind of goth and someone called her goth mommy in my chat and as she says in the clip as she says in the clip she rebranded all her social media to that as you can see in this screenshot right here at one point on one of my streams she called in via discord and again goth mommy so so many people hinged on that as if that was like legitimate proof like absolutely uh irrefutable proof that I was like down bad for this girl. And I I'm sorry, but that's that's not the case. This is someone that I met on TikTok. They tagged me in a TikTok post and we started talking. And you know, like sometimes when you meet people, you just click with them. And we just clicked and we became friends. We had a friendly relationship. Like I said, all of this stuff, all these flirty DMs were a very, very, very small portion. Because he brought the pet name thing, which is something I brought up in my live on the 2nd of June. And then he fucking bring, he cuts it right after. Because she was so hyped because I kept calling her. So I will put out there, I kept calling her goth mommy because other people would call her goth mommy. But it wasn't until I hashtagged it that, that everything was all of a sudden confirmed. Exactly. ...portion of our conversations. We talked about politics. We talked about the news. We talked about our families. We did a lot of talking about our families. Now, I'm not going to put any of that stuff out there because of the fact that it, it, it's private conversations. Maybe oh, it's private. Now it's already private. out there. It's already out there. So, uh, it so why not put the other 20 hundred fucking conversations out there, dude? <laughs> she didn't have respect for my privacy when she leaked these messages. But unlike her, I have respect for hers. So I'm not going to be putting that shit out there. She confided it she confided it in me when we were friends privately. And out of respect for her, I'm going to keep it private. Oh, now you have respect for her. Now you have respect for her. 18 minutes into a 29 minute video, now he does. But Tim, you say you have you have respect for her, but you basically kind of took advantage of her wrong in front of her husband, which was probably sober. And he probably got oh, he married. Oh, no, he, he was actually drunk. They were all just so It was a drinking stream. He took over a drunk couple. He took advantage of a drunk couple. That can go down with him getting his ass beat, going to jail and getting his ass beat, or killed. Mind you, I don't want this. I understand. Guy. Yeah. And she's appeared on a podcast where she said that she regrets doing this and she's sorry. Thanks, I guess. I appreciate that. It doesn't reverse the damage that was done as a result of this shit. Because what happened as a result of this shit? People who don't like me jumped on this shit and started spreading this narrative that Tipster's a creep, uh, Tipster's unfaithful to his wife. There creep part, that's, that's, that's me. See, I, I know he's... I know he has seen my shit, dude. There were literally yeah, people saying that. Shit. At this point, you might as well just get ready to see my shit. Because it's about. Tipster's to wife back. should leave him. All right, Taylor. Or the tipster's wife is going to divorce him as a result of this. Meanwhile, you dumb fucks. My wife's been supporting me through this whole fucking thing. <laughs> She's supportive of him having e girls. Holy shit.
<laughs> oh my god, this is such the most dysfunctional marriage ever. <laughs> She never left my side because unlike the internet, she knows the difference between what's a joke and what's real. <laughs> oh, God. Boy, does she know that you took advantage of a drunk woman? <sighs> Jesus, dude. I've made jokes like this on my stream while my wife is in chat. I've That's actually true, which is the scariest fucking part. I really don't think she knows that it was more than just a joke. Like, I think she went along. He's with never him. said he anything. Joke? He's never said anything about um, uh, her seeing the chats, right? It's always like she knows, she knows. But never once have we ever fucking heard him talk about her knowing about the chats. Exactly. Made jokes like this in front of my wife, IRL, and she doesn't give a fuck. IRL? Oh, in real oh, life. <laughs> he's like, he's like, unlike the internet, as he used internet words. <laughs> exactly. Like, this dude needs something. Like, at this point, he might as well just get put on some medication at this point, too. <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is savage, bro. <laughs> okay, I understand people's relationships have different boundaries and shit like that. And that's fine. You know, obviously, if you're in a relationship with someone who isn't okay with jokes like this, don't make jokes like that. But my wife... 1,200... I don't care. $1,200 from Audible. Wow, you, you put a book out on Audible. Congrats. <laughs> ain't like that my wife married me because she likes my sense of humor and she's okay with my sense of humor your sense of humor <laughs> i know mind boggling right fucking humor <laughs> okay just because you don't no, get it no, and maybe no. your relationship's not like that doesn't mean that our relationship is like that and i Wow, did he just gaslight the rest of the fucking community? Like, oh, did because y'all don't have the same relationship, relationship I do? Or, like, every relationship known to man? Like, really? I've seen so many ridiculous narratives coming out of this shit. You know, I gotta be honest. More so than her putting my private information out there pissed me off. The way people talked about this pissed me off you know we went in on the tea community for like a fucking year right and again i don't mind people now he's now he's he's assuming that all of us that do dramatory are all in our tea commentators no 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 no, no. not all of us do fucking oh what's the tea that's fucking petty drama shit that i don't fucking do i do real fucking that's drama. Shit i have to deal with and i'd rather get away from it and i'm, I'm glad i've gotten away from it I got away from it a couple weeks ago. I was like, mm, okay. <laughs> I was trying so hard, and, it, and no matter how far I got, just some out of the blue, I end up getting dragged into where I was like, dude, really? People talking about the situation. Mm -hmm. There's some really embarrassing shit she put out there. There's some really fucking cringy DM she put out there. If you want to cover this story and laugh at my expense, Go right at your expense. Ahead. I've been doing this commentary shit for a few years now. I know how the game is fucking played. All right. I have no problem with someone covering the story. Buddy, I've been doing this since 17. Yeah, he, he's got no problem with somebody. Is nobody. He has no problem with people covering it. But yet he just fucking attacked Augie in the beginning of this shit for fucking and has attacked me. For my fucking coverage by gaslighting me into this situation. Yeah, but he, he has no trouble with people covering his stuff, right? No problem whatsoever. So if you want to cover it, go ahead. But like some of the bullshit that I heard coming out of this is ridiculous. I heard people saying that this was some random e-girl that I just randomly slid in her DMs. Why do you keep bringing up the random shit, dude? 
Good God. And started like flirting with her. Exactly. That's not what fucking happened. This person was my friend. The funniest thing about seeing people spread that narrative is that my falling out with this person was extremely public. And a lot of people seen it. They. That's your issue with it? Is that it's public? Well, you kind of made it public. You made it public yourself, buddy, but you don't want it public. Well, buddy, you fucked it up yourself. Welcome back. Seen this public fallout. But then this shit comes out, and all of a sudden, it's, it's just some random e girl whose tip, tipster slid into her DMs and started flirting with her. No. Again, he brings it up again. Dude, he's got nothing else he's just, better. He's, he's, he's freaking he's out. Dude. Better than pouring out now. He's freaking out. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> well, he better freak out because now it's been brought to my attention. And he's fucking screwed. Oh, he better that's just not what fucking happened. Happen. Happened. I, will leak that out. I had people saying that she's the one that told me to private my videos and I was just following the orders of some e-girl and that's why I privated all my old videos. No, I made that decision on. Oh, no, that's not true because um, so um, I'll give you a general synopsis of it. No, so I, not... that's why I said if it is true, she just basically made him a bitch. No, but it, it's not. It's not. Um. From what I've gathered from the facts of everything is that, uh, and what I've seen is when this started a week ago, everybody was freaking out because every, even her herself, she was like, yo, he, he deleted all his videos. And then another person um, in chat had fucking said, actually, he archived them all. And he does admit that he, 11 days ago, he admitted that he has all of them archived. So they're in there, but now yeah. only he can get them. He privated all of them. You better hope some of them end up getting access to your stuff and posting that everywhere. I guarantee you better try. Someone's going to. And if I have to make some phone calls to do it, best believe I will. My own. I made that fucking... I don't know where that narrative came from, but that's not what happened. I made that decision on my own because at the time, it seemed like it was the right decision for me to make based on the way I felt at the time. And again, I saw people questioning my marriage, which I'm sorry, but for me, like that crosses line. I get that I'm a public figure and I'm subject to criticism, but my wife's not a public figure. My wife never. Asked. But you are. So yeah, for for a guy who can handle people covering his content, can't handle somebody saying something about your wife. You know how many fucking females that when I've been with them, like that people have said shit about me to them. Or have said shit to me about them. Like, it's it's not... Ask for this shit. And now there's people on the internet questioning the status of our marriage? My marriage... I'm starting to question it too. Yeah, this, this shit does not clear you, dude. It's not going. It's not... Uh... Marriage is no one's fucking business. But mine and my wife's. Then stop bringing it up. <laughs> the more he brings it up, the worse it gets. Uh, Holy fucking shit. He's done this for like months now. So stay the fuck out of it. Then stop talking about it. <laughs> like I said, we went in on T channels for spreading all this stupid information and shit like that for a whole fucking year. And so many people jumped on this and spread this bullshit without a second thought. It's funny because it's like, I've made jokes like this publicly on Twitter and people would just kind of like quote tweet it and meme on it. And it was a joke. It was a joke. They all acknowledge it was a joke. I've made jokes like this on my stream. And again, people would clip it and they'd meme on it. And hey guys, it's a joke. It's just a funny fucking joke, right? I've had a friend of mine with my permission, that I make these comments in their DMs with them, tweet out screenshots of these conversations. And again, people just kind of laughed at it like it was a fucking joke. But some hey, girl that I have... Do me a huge favor, actually. And post the whole thing on Twitch and don't archive. Let everybody see the real you real quick, buddy. Seriously, man. He shouldn't have brought up that 2400 message thing, though. Because now people are going to be like, huh, I wonder what everything else says. Or, hey, I wonder how much 
He walks himself back. into this shit, dude. He basically brought, he literally, what he just did, and you know what the reference I'm about to say, he basically had a match cross, lit that match, lit someone on fire, and now he can't put it out. He's got to go to everybody else to do it. He's throwing gas instead of water. Exactly. Have a very public falling out with. Tweets out four or five screenshots. That's not it. You said you watched all these videos, so all the screenshots were out. Oh, I can't. I fucking can't. And all, all of a right, sudden, it's not right. a fucking joke anymore. All of a sudden, it's not a fucking Mommy joke anymore. Is that goth mommy girl to end up finding my shit, and I will ask for full details. How does that make any fucking sense? It literally doesn't make any fucking sense. Now, I can't blame all of this on this girl. And I can't blame... 23 minutes in and now you can't blame it on this girl. Well, yeah, what have you been doing? <laughs> exactly <laughs> my fucking point, dude. Yeah. It's just, I'm just waiting for one of these days and he actually has an affair with his wife. And she's like, oh, it was, it's okay. No, it is not okay. All of this on the people who talked about it. I can't. I have fault in this too. Well, you gaslit me. <laughs> For no reason. Because I hashtag. Um, I made myself way too fucking accessible. For a content creator with a platform, I made myself way too fucking accessible. I was way too trusting of people. I'm the kind of guy that I wanted to be friendly with everyone. Uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, see the best in people. Uh, I wanted to fucking, uh, I, I didn't want to think the worst of people. And so I gave a lot of people access to me that I probably shouldn't have. And that's my fault. That was a learning experience for me. Like, let me tell you, this whole situation has made me extremely fucking jaded. Like, on the plus side, it's given me a, an Big words for a weirdo. Sorry, <laughs> you're using very big words, buddy, that you probably have no idea what it means. I don't give a fuck attitude, which is a good thing when you're in this community. Um, and it's... if I Yeah, he does have a point there. <laughs> you have to have that attitude. You have to have that attitude for commentary. It's, you yeah, don't really have, have a choice there. You're too nice. Like you don't personally. Too nice to people in commentary, they'll, they'll take advantage of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm that one commentator who will say it how I see it. If I didn't have trust issues before, I fucking have them now. Um, but yeah, I made myself way too fucking accessible. Uh, a lot of you guys may have saw I deleted my Twitter. I deleted like my Facebook, my Instagram, like all my shit just because like I... Oh, he deleted it. Yeah, he's deleted everything. 20 bucks saying he made new accounts. No, no. Um, now, his Twitter on the other hand, it was active yesterday. I saw it yesterday, but if he deleted the app and everything, or if he... His account will still be there. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, but he yeah, might have deleted the account. I still have to look. Same for Snapchat and Facebook. Use those platforms to activate them all them to, disappear. to make myself way too accessible to people. And I can't fucking do that shit anymore. Because look what happened. I was having private conversations with someone I thought I could trust, and I couldn't fucking trust them. I had to learn the hard way to make myself less accessible to people. And it's unfortunate that it had to be like that. The other thing I learned is that, you know, oh, just because someone may be okay there. with these kind of jokes. Oh, pity tips. You grow a pair of balls and suck up that you fuck up. <laughs> just suck it up, dude. Be a grown man like you say you are. Doesn't 30s. mean. But right now, you're acting like you're five. I am 23, and I'm more wrong than you. They're appropriate to me. Click in your head that you're looking so, I do want to say that if there's anyone else I've made these kind of jokes with and you felt uncomfortable by them, I apologize for that. You know, it was never my intention to make anyone feel uncomfortable when I made these kind of jokes. So if I have ever made these jokes to you, if any of you guys happen to be watching this, like some of my friends that I've made these jokes with, and I've made you uncomfortable, I sincerely... See, now now his biggest cope is like, oh, well, if I've also said this to anybody else, as is to deviate from the situation. Right? That's... 
ridiculous and I gotta skip this fucking My intent at all. Not my intent at all. So I don't know, that's really all I have to say about this. It's it, it was a really fucked up situation. I think that this person got angry at me based on understandings on both sides. Now that I'm kind of reflecting on this situation, it looks like oh, now you're reflecting. Now we're reflecting when there's like two minutes left in the video. There were things I said and things she said that we both misunderstood about each other. And it's unfortunate that it kind of <laughs> got as far as it did. Um, and it's unfortunate that a friendship end ended, but it kind of is what it is. And uh, this is kind of where we're at. So I just wanted an opportunity to share my side of things uh, because in this whole situation, you know, they got an opportunity to share their side and I haven't really gotten an opportunity to share mine. So I just wanted to kind of put this out there, give my thoughts and just kind of leave it at that. But uh, overall, yeah, this has been a, it's been a really fucked up situation. And uh, I can see a lot of people in the chat are supporting me and I appreciate that because <laughs> they are e whores. <laughs> Probably that's how he's gonna put it. Oh shit, bro. Guarantee his next Twitch stream he's gonna call each and every one of them an equal. I personally no, can he, he won't call that I mean, he'll make jokes about it though. Yeah, Before he, he clipped that see he clipped out where he was really drunk on stream last night. He clipped out like three hours of shit. And fucking um, clipped it to 30 minutes and then posted it. And right. like he was making jokes about e girls and shit. But he doesn't seem. Tipster doesn't realize there's a fine line with certain jokes. No matter the joke. I mean, yeah, I'm in a dark humor, but there's a fine, extensive line of it. And he seems to not give a damn. You'll give a damn I just want to like, move on to my fucking reporting. Like, Hello, That's police department. Shit. <laughs> Dude, listen. He'll learn. One day he will learn. Maybe. 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 <laughs> will he fully? Probably not. But I hope at some point in his the rest of his lifespan, oh, I've been sensible to do. Don't care. Where he realizes or some will click in his fucking head. But at this point, nothing's gonna click in his head. He just doesn't seem to care. Yeah, he, he what is he gonna do when his wife starts to think, okay, he fucked up, I'm gonna get a divorce. Then he loses everything. All this stuff he's worked hard for it, especially for his marriage, will be gone. But he don't care. He's, he simply probably does not care for any shits in the world. 